Welcome to the Umbrella Chronicles. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. So, uh, one Patrick... Was that the Red Queen talking? Yes, the canon character of the Red Queen. I know my lore. What are you talking about? You know who doesn't know his lore? Patrick, because he fucked up his trip to from back from Japan. Oh. And we got to record a shitstorm. So here we are at the source of scary games. The so, origin of it all. You know, you say that, Wooly, but like we've talked about before, if you don't have the time to gloss through a million boring Resident Evil games... What are you talking you about? Get, this is the first and only Resident Evil game. You get the pure experience that boils down the main story points to perfection, really. Previous RE games were a mistake, I believe uh, they said. Shinji Mikami said, I always lamented the fact we had to saddle these games with that horrible control scheme. The, um, that nobody likes. The Umbrella, Chron Umbrella Chronicles is the true vision. I believe they closed out the interview by saying, is there anything you have to say to the viewers? And they said, yes, Resident Evil begins at Umbrella Chronicles. Don't, don't tweet at me, RE2, or you will be blocked. There you go. I mean, it's it's good. It's there good it's that the creators finally had the ability to go back and fix all their mistakes. Right the wrongs of the past. Oh, indeed. I'm so happy you're here, Wooly. So we're here for the origins yeah. of, of scary games, which begin with gun gameplay. All right, mansion incident, uh, where it all started. RE Zero didn't really happen, I don't think. No, that was that. Was, uh, that's Rebecca and Rebecca and Chris and I and, and, and Garcia, right? Rebecca and Garcia. Never mind. No one cares how many times you've replayed Resident Evil One or Two or Three. It's not even. It's all about replaying Umbrella Chronicles, I'm and Joe. those S ranks show you. Um, you show you where character is built, where priorities lie. You mm -hmm. know. The mansion incident. That Sometimes incident Wesker's voice is like a parody. I mean, quite like I, it's it's more than perfect in the sense that like it's almost like they got Vincent Price to narrate the beginning of their game, yes. and then Vincent Price was a member of the team. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Pat will tell you that like uh, Wesker was uh, like the mega clone that they used. They used um, Alistair. Um, uh, God, no, the Spencer estate. The Spencer guy, they used his DNA. Nathan Spencer, yeah. Nathan Spencer. They used his DNA to clone into the Wesker clones, and Wesker ate most of them and got most of their DNA inside him. That's why he's so powerful. Oh, right. I thought it was because he had the yellow virus. Well, he ate enough yellow herbs, which first uh, showed up, I believe, in RE0. Okay, because I yeah. remember hearing about the, the special virus right. that he took mm -hmm. that made him into, I like, the say. Superman. And it was really, really crazy when, when they resurrected him as a cyborg. He turned into the William Birkin monster. Wesker, I think he, he took on another persona to do stuff in the shadowy backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he became... Uh, William Birkin was his persona. Okay. And uh, he turned into a monster briefly in RE2. Dude, I'm so excited to have the, the crazy Wesker knife fight. That, oh, when it's Wesker versus Wesker? That's yeah, one of yeah, the yeah. best moments. Yeah. Oh, man, it's so great to go back to the origins. No. So usually tops of the heads is the best. Yep. Zombies love games. And it zombie. lights it yes. lights up, right? It lights up when you're on uh, the right it spot. It's flashing red a little yep. bit, yeah. Good. I want to Okay. And oh. Knifing is what again? We need to get Hold down the Z button on the on the nunchucky and then uh swipe the remote to do little knife swipeies. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Swipe yeah. the Wii mode. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. not the nunchuck. Got it. Yeah, yeah. See, this was the optimal control scheme that they felt would do the best justice to Resident Evil. Because yes. uh, when they realized that they couldn't um, uh, have the technology for light gun games on the PlayStation early on, they were like, you know what? Okay, let's just wait for the Wii to come out. So usually when you open up this store in the classic, uh, the, the more boring version of the game... Um, a couple of tyrants come through this store way. and start swiping at you, and thankfully the uh, Stars Alpha Bravo team closed the door right there, and then yes. they're like, okay, don't don't want any of those tyrant uh, variant hunters coming through the door. Because they're smarter, right? Yeah, Pat told me that usually they're smarter. But this is the famous scare. Uh, yeah, Willie, it's because if you can't reload, it's because you don't have enough ammo for that. You always have infinite ammo for your... I don't even know. What I had happened. a different button from you, but okay. You always have a different. You always have infinite ammo for Samurai Edge. Oh, but I was wasting Magnum bullets. Yeah, but that's okay. 
I see. Because these these dogs, I believe they're I believe they're called um, lickers. Um, they they kind of yeah, that makes sense. Like time. poochies, they, dogs like to lick your face. They love licking. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, angry uh, V virus dogs. They're still good boys. Well, V, at the end v of the is day. the virus. With how you spell v virus? virus. Yeah. yeah, of course. How else are you supposed to spell it? Come on, I want this. No, 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 the picture. There, dude, don't. There could be a file there. Don't you're, waste I'm your sorry, time with I'm this. sorry. You're right. You're right. Oh, I forgot that we share a communal, like, sexy life bar. It's Jill and Chris together. Oh. We, because that, that started in our. Dude, paintings, paintings, paintings. I know, I know. Oh, I know. I, that started in RE Director's Cut when they had the communal life bar. You know when you go into a doctor's office and you see a whole bunch of paintings on their wall? That makes you this know just how incredible their okay. accomplishments are. Okay, this is a redhead. Yeah. Um, they, they, I believe they first started showing up in uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I think at least Pat, that's what he told me. But He would know. Okay, I think he's dead. Uh, usually you have to burn those guys with gunpowder uh, to kill them. Gotcha. Right. Aren't we going to fight um, Yawn, the giant bird? I heard something coming from this room. Not yet. No, that, he only shows up later. Okay. In like RE3, I believe. Okay. A, suits a, of a, armor? Suits of armor? Yeah. Which the V-Virus does affect. Okay, nice. Oh, you got a counterattack. Yeah, it's got my Zappo. Man, who says survival horror is dead, huh? Yeah. Look at this classic, classic survival horror gameplay right here. Fantastic. We're surviving horror. We are! I don't know about you, but I felt like I've survived mid- Excellent! Alright, well... That's okay. We've got a lot of life to spare. Like, there you go. Okay. Oh, there oh we got the- what was the pick? Oh, we missed it. Don't worry. Oh, you got yes. it? Okay, yeah! Cha-ching! Um, Resident Evil, I always feel, could have used a lot more cha-ching noises, like casino-style noises. Yep. Being armed to the teeth is classic Resident Evil, really. Okay. Yeah, I like having, that, Wooly. Having infinite bullets, infinite, inf infinite reloads, basically walking around the because mansion. Because we're members of, of SCAT. Yeah. We're a good team that knows what needs to be done. Walking around the mansion like Vulcan Raven? I, I approve. That's that's good survival the horror Vulcan gameplay. The Vulcan Raven Chronicles. Yeah. Yeah, see, we both ate on either sides of the plant like uh, Lady in the Tram. Lady in the Tram, we both put, we put the, the herb in our mouth. I love it. Mwah, mwah. Fuck you. Just making sure. Yep, always. Double tap. Oh. Paintings. Paintings. Tapestries. See, this is how the game should be played. I don't I, I don't know how you discover your way through a mansion. But this is how it's done. 100%. Um, with Weekly Famitsu, uh, Mikami gave an update, or more or less an interview, where he was like, I'm so glad that Umbrella Chronicles came up. To show my true vision, which was... <laughs> uh. Alright, that's Snore. Snore! I think an art book uh, mistranslated the name as Yawn. Nice. What in the hell? Was that actually a mistranslation? Yes. That's hilarious. Snakes don't like being shot in the mouth. Yeah! Nice! Tougher than any human. He's wounded. God, like how slow is this battle in the original game, right? But here we're almost done. Yeah. Look at that! Look at that! No fuss, no muss. Easy! Fantastic, and we move on. And Who's got time for no drawn-out bullshit? And that ends the Ballad of Snore. How far into the game was that, right? I don't know, like 7 to 12 hours? Awesome. Okay. Isn't that it? Wait, what? So, so... Um, Wait, what? Yeah, what? Isn't that RE0? So she was eating that guy before we got here. Fortunately, we stopped her before turning into a V-Virus victim. Girl? Clear time S? You mean the game decided to waste 
none of our time? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I died once. I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death. Oh, man. So that's one of the... Uh, nemesis, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the proto-nemesis. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. How did he become a member of STARS if he had such an incredible upbringing? Because uh, it was one of his clones that became the member of STARS while the real Wesker was doing other stuff. Mm. Yeah, nice. just throw grenades all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like this place. Yeah, that's a good path. Branching oh. pass. I'm glad they finally added that to Resident Evil. Although the other, the other half of his brain wanted to go the other way, so it was, it was a bit of a conflict for a moment there. He just tears himself in half. There's so much RE, and and like who like they don't have time to go back to no fucking time wasting bullshit. You just sum it all up right here, right now. It's like the movie version. It's like In the, fact, it's like the fun movie version that improves upon everything, like Lord of the Rings movies. In fact, I think that, like, because this is still going back to the Wii, we could even improve on it by cutting out some more. I kind of think some sections go on a little <laughs> long. That yawn fight could have been at least half as long. Like the Wesker Birkin fight. Entertaining. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Integral to the plot. Come on. <laughs> we could have definitely moved the pace he's, along. He's like the Tom Bombadil of the RE Resident Evil Just universe. Wrap it up. Gotta wrap that shit up, man. People gotta get home! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Wesker and Wesker and Wesker son. Ah, this is, is it? this is Alice, the character that Mila Jovovich played. Well, this was her first right, form. Right, then right. Then they 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 took her DNA and made her into the hot character, the main character from Resident Evil that we all know nowadays. Well, we murdered her before she could really do anything. But then she becomes the main character and she rides that motorcycle. Yeah, so it's all yeah, good. Yeah, super cool. I mean, cool. there's something to say about self improvement. She came a long way. Ah, there you see her director husband pumping life back into her corpse <laughs> to do a couple more movies. Oh. Uh, clear time, at, you know? See, this is what you want to see at the end of any Resident Evil game. Right? Five minutes and we got through another section. Yeah. Another quarter. After fighting off, it, hey, we don't have time for that. Move along, please. Some of us have places to be. I do. Bagging not. your groceries all slow. Fucking hurry it up. Let's get on with this shit. I want all my zombies in one bag, but I don't want the bag to be heavy. Come on. Hey, let's ex let's expedite that. There you yeah, go. Yeah, bam. Fast. Wooly, we should just be grenade boys. Forget the slow ass thing of machine gunning everywhere. Bullets way that too slow. That wastes time. Grenades. Fast. Solve that problem. It's a good puzzle solver. Let's get right the fuck into it. Jeez, that was slow. So what's where's uh, where's Jack Baker at this point? <laughs> yep. Perfect. Pick up your weapons. <laughs> I don't have time to answer your questions, Wooly. I don't even know who that character is that you said. No, yeah, just no. reshoot. No, no fighting. <laughs> no time. <laughs> None of it. <laughs> this is a scientist all chewing up with piss and vinegar. Big, big rusher. I like, I like, I like, I like him. I, I like appreciate that guy. I appreciate it. He, he just knows. Wants to tear through this universe as fast as possible. Right? He, we're tapping our watches and he's like, I See, know. that guy had no time to have a penis or a vagina. So he just had a nebulous nothing area. Hurry it up. <laughs> Umbrella Scientist is like, hey, should we keep a sexual reproductive? No, there's no time for that. Just make the zombos. Make them, make them. <laughs> run, run, run. It's really interesting that the, that the factory part, the, the, the umbrella lab that we're going to get to actually connects to uh, the Spanish town in Resident Evil 4. Wow. There's a kind of an underground passage. You want to talk about your time savers. savers. 
fucking get That's always always going on about that tunnel that that goes all the way to the village. From the lab straight to no meters near. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After we kill Sergey, the boss of Umbrella, you know, he still takes orders from someone and I believe he took them from Salazar. Just knife and doors. Don't mind if I do. That's another good technique to get through this man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How can you lose? Like what like who would not be intimidated Wait, what, by this? What, what are we just both doing? Why, who would not be intimidated hey, by this? Look at this impenetrable defense. What? What? What chance do you Oh. Oh. oh okay. Oh. Well, they have mm, All right. Maybe there's maybe there's a bit of a chance. Okay. When we were in New York, fortunately, we used this technique to get around much easier than normal. How else we were supposed to get to New York Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. Hail a cab, swing your knife around. As soon as I got out of that cab and we were into Brooklyn, I just swiped. You know, like, we, we talk a lot about L.A. and, and <laughs> the turn signals, but New, New York York's, has their own New techniques. York's knifing is just it's just how you say hello. It's, it's the East Coast it's hello. It's like, well, how do you do, you know? Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, what would you like? Can I get that uh, panini and uh, can I get a small, small latte? Yeah, no problem. And then you just knife fight with the cashier. Ugh, backtracking. One of the most, you know, pointless parts of any Resident Evil game. We have to come all the way down one hallway to flip a switch. Come on. Like, Even in these games. Why, why, you gotta, why you gotta waste time? Slow down the experience. All oh, right. God, there's a tyrant, baby. A tyrant embryo, I think, the, uh, in my RE archives. Yeah, you know, the only thing that could really speed up this experience even more would be bringing it to the ultimate device known Phones. as your iPhone. Because your Android or iPhone is always in your pocket. The fact that I even had to come sit here and pick up this Wii remote... I, I actually am going to have to just straight up apologize to you for wasting your time it's, like this. It's a, bit, it's a bit insensitive and it's a bit rude of you and, and, to have me come here and hold this controller. And unlike antiquated... In a world where we could just play it on our phones. Unlike antiquated machines that no one owns, like the PlayStation family of consoles, everyone owns a phone, dude! So the maximum convenience! Fight this uh, V virus steam that's always pumping out of the vents. And you know, and you know, the complete lack of a challenge is also important in, yeah. in hurrying up. That's that's right? usually how it goes. When you want to get to the fucking get to the meat of it, you don't have time for difficulty. So he injected himself with the CV virus, and that's what made the him code night. Veronica that's what made virus. him nightcrawler. Into a cyborg, yes, nightcrawler, cyborg. Okay, that's another mistranslation. It should say Cerebus, but what can you? So do? if they just injected themselves, they would be super peep, super soldiers now. Well, in um in the, in the later scenario of uh, Code Veronica, both Chris and Wesker inject themselves in with uh, T Virus Classic. And uh, they both have this. Uh, you didn't. You didn't play TVC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, uh, you didn't play Code Veronica, but that's yeah. like where Chris and Wesker that really, really hate each other. You know. Anyway. And then they just Dante Virgil it up. Yep. Yep. I Teleporting all over. So he's waking up Cerebus. The ultimate life form. And again, didn't waste time with no. useless reproductive organs. None of that bullshit. I could so do without this that I, I have. <laughs> I don't, I'm not using it. I guess the eyeball's not open yet. His eyes are yet to open. It happened again. Oh, no. How could they keep like that here? I can't believe it. All of this was his doing. No time to worry about that now. He's dead. Easy. No time indeed, Chris. Why can't all Resident Evil bosses work like that? Just go down in three grenades. I still got time for lunch. Step over your body, whoops. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Sorry, we're too busy being movers and shakers. All right, yo, Matt, you go take care of the lunch order. I'm take I'll have a panini. Uh, yeah, okay, what do you want on that? Give me, uh, give me a panini. Uh, wow, tyrant fight over. Mm-hmm. Perfect. In fact, you know, it was. It, I would say perfect, but it in retrospect, a, it took a little it long, took, didn't it? 
Honestly. <laughs> it took what? Three grenades? Now come on! <laughs> grenades are expensive pieces of ordnance. Could we have done that in maybe one grenade, Capcom? <laughs> I sure hope <laughs> I sure hope Shinji Mikami was fired for that. It, it took a little while. <laughs> I have to say, you know, looking back, it mm, could have could have trimmed the fat a little bit. You, know, you could have gotten an extra .5 score from Kotaku. If you just, you just tightened up that boss fight. All right, all right, yeah. It's this hallway again. Yeah. Now, I, I appreciate asset reuse, because that saves time from, you know, seeing new assets, really. I mean, if you've been through one Resident Evil corridor, you've, you've been, been through them all. Really? So why not just go through the same one in, like, a circle? One door, eight doors, you know, just get me where I need to be. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'd spend money on a couple microtransactions to speed this shit up. Hideki uh, Kamiya was l really lamented when he finished, when he sludged out RE2. He's like, we could have used some loot boxes. This guy, again, I really, mean, re second form. We're really doing this? I guess. In fact, it's, it's, it's working pretty well, actually. If you really think about it. And by think about it, I mean look at his life bar. Yeah, yeah, a little long in the tooth, this fight. It's really overstaying its welcome. I'm looking at my phone right now. Anything interesting? Wow. Wow. God. 32 seconds. Jesus. Have you not heard brevity is the soul of wit? <laughs> All right, so it's fine. You know how we... Uh, I'm sorry about this, You know man. how we cut down those bar Dark Souls boss fights into, like, fast-forwarding sections? Yeah. And then you go, all right, we'll cut here and we'll be back. Yeah, we might need to do that for this. We might need to just cut some of these boss fights yeah, down yeah. to, for, to, you know... Fortunately, Billy Cohen here picked this up in his, in, in his helicopter. Just get the fuck out of here. Christ. Leonard Cohen? Montreal hero. Yeah. Chris is like, man, what a long in the tooth adventure <laughs> that had to be. Didn't even get to punch a boulder. For Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief I like that. I like finding out that the mansion blew up in in after dialogue. Could it have in, maybe in, in blown aftermath. up in the start of the game to kind of expedite this whole process? Really, that helicopter should have been there, right there, right there from the launch. I say, when you press start, just start rolling the credits. Making their way through the underground cross Atlantic tunnel. Ugh, come on. Blah blah story. blah. Hey, okay, so here's Mendez. Um, Hotspur. Also known as Luis Serra, the Big Cheese Mendez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroyed by a missile. They're gonna wipe out the town? Jeez, what's with this Cimmerillion talk? Just get on with it. <laughs> um... Mr. X, finally. No wonder they brought him back for Marvel. What an iconic character. Yeah. I'll cover you. Hmm. 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 How many grenades was that? That was like four, right? Fucking <laughs> waste my time, will you? Ugh, come on. Was that a zombie? I've had to deal with something like that. <laughs> Was that a zombie? No. Eight zombies, eight or ten zombies in. We're on the third section. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All those goodies. 
See, uh, when I play Resident Evil, I want to think that I'm playing a pachinko version of it. That's the, that's the classic feeling. You should feel like you're winning things. All the time. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explosive More barrels. red barrels. Everywhere. Red Come on. I would like it if they kind of retcon Raccoon City to be the biggest red, red barrel, barrel factory. factory city state. I would be very in the happy. Continental United States. I'd be very happy. You know how fast we can get through this shit? They're not anymore. You should be more careful about who you date. This is no time for jokes. We've got to run. That's the lurker, right? Yeah, the lurkers. Got it. I'm really glad they never came back in any other game. It's kind of one of the more forgettable character designs in, in this universe. I mean, look, they're not all going to be gold, you know? Yeah. They can't be no bander snatches. No? Nothing? No. Oh, oh Can, there we go. How do, how do they even get close? Yes. Parried. Deflected. Okay. Oh, well. okay. She found she found she found a flaw. The fact that we haven't found files in the last 30 seconds is really alarming. Like, you know, classic Resident Evil's they had these long, drawn out, poorly written notes. It'd be great if they could just be Grenade. Fired. It'd be great if they could just be files that you just pick up and get stored away in a convenient section and never have to be bothered reading with them, really. There should be a wiki like Metal Gear. And just put it all there and then we yeah, don't have to think about I'll it. Yeah, and then I'll never open it. Yeah. Don't think about this shit. Oh, man. Wow. Jeez, guys. I could do my fucking taxes while we're climbing that ladder. Like, what, what do we... Let's just look away. No, Wooly, I'm moving the camera away. Do we, do we really need to look at him? I mean, the missiles are coming at us. <laughs> so I suppose so. They were in her eyeballs. <laughs> oh. Yep. It's actually really hard to hit them. No, no, we're doing great. We're doing great. No, no time for you, sir. All right. We got places to be. You know what would be cool? Like a contest to have your own face appear as a zombie. Yeah. That'd be smart. And then you can name your baby after it. Name your baby Resident Evil. Name your baby Biohazard. Biohazard. <laughs> oh. Herbs. This looks like a good place to wrap shit up. Yep. So I'm really glad that they moved this Memnesis boss fight to its real position. Good stuff there, Wooly. Perfect. Yep. I know, I know. The barrels could have been there right away. I admit. I admit that took a while. Yeah, it did, actually. A second for <sighs> Alright, well, you know, I guess if we have to. No way! How is that possible? I had the feeling it would be that. Alright, you want me? Come and get me. I mean, I'm looking at the life bar and it's like. Jesus! Thank God! Are we good? Are we done? Oh, I can't like when Japanese games have the audacity to put a third. Just are you done? Down. You're done. He's done. Yeah. He's done. All right. Whoa. So that's Resident Evil Three. Uh, finally boiled down to the main story points. Thank you, Wooly, for you know stepping in hey. and stepping up to hey, trudge man. through this fucking epic of a game. I, I'm so glad I'm caught up on the story. I'm, I really, you know, I've heard so much talk about it for so long. You know, Mendez the Big Cheese and, and, and Jill Alice. Yeah, defeated, and then this is the big shot. I remember the, yeah! Defeated Mr. X on top of a nondescript building. It's so nice to have context after all this time, you know? You know what, this cutscene, I, you know what, I think we're good. Yeah, alright. So, that's Resident Evil. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please pick up these collections. You know, you will not regret Regret it. Yo, pass me that fucking panini already. What are we doing? Here you go.